Alright guys, so we had a fresh catch this morning. Uh, my good friend Ed and I went out, did some fishing at 5 o'clock this morning. Uh, we both limited out on brook trout. So I've got five that I've since cleaned up. Uh, we do have another video going on. That's the banana, maple, walnut, rum bread in the background. So we're going to use the same coals as that just to show you that sometimes all you need is the briquettes uh, and it's quick and convenient. Uh, we're also going to do the other three here on the grill. So we've got some amenities to go with that. We got a whole stick of butter for all five fish. We've got some red onion, some garlic, some lemon, and the old timey salt and pepper shakers. Stay tuned. So while the uh, bread's cooking still, let's get the trout on the go. I'll get the aluminum foil obviously. So uh, here's trout number one. So we're just going to fill these little guys uh, with some lemon. <clears throat> right up in the inside there. We'll do two. Uh, they're pretty, pretty small so do that. Throw a little garlic in there. salt and pepper maybe a lot of salt and pepper big fan myself a little bit of onion and some butter bigger ones here for the uh, coals behind us. Put that on low. Let it heat up a bit and get our fish on. All right, guys, heat it up a bit now. Place a delicious trout right in there. It's gonna 
gonna be some good boy. All right guys, so like I said, last two trout. We're gonna use the same coals that we used for our bread. So we're just gonna throw them on there. And let them cook. So I'm not sure if you guys can hear that or not, but sizzling away on the coals here with the trout. I don't know if you can hear that again guys, but sizzling away. Give it a peek, folks. Right in the coals. Oh yeah, skin pulling off now. Loads of butter in there. That's gonna be good. Still plenty of heat from the coals as well. So like I said, it's pretty convenient. We've cooked the bread, we've cooked the fish. Still plenty of heat there to cook something else if I wanted to, and I know fire needed. So, little brook trout. I got a couple here on the coals. Still got the three on the grill there that uh, I'm sure are done as well. So I'm just gonna do the taste test again with my Woodsman fork. Fin and <laughs> good grief. I'm bone. You're going to be careful of the bones, obviously. Uh, different on how you fillet different fish and stuff like that. But uh, the trout actually have a rib cage, like all fish. But they also have some sticking up this way off the spine, so you can't really fillet them the same way. So if you just cook them whole uh, and be gingerly while you eat it, uh, shouldn't be any issues. Uh, and you can see I'm scraping it away. From the rib cage and uh, I'll give you a close-up so you can see all the bones I pulled out two but not a big deal like I said if you be careful so man that's good wow I'm gonna pull this little piece up by the backbone I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about uh, the way the bones go different directions so this is pretty good yep the G-man over here throwing dirt around with a shovel want to try a piece? <laughs> no? <laughs> Falling apart. No butter there. That is good stuff. That is absolutely good stuff. Freshly caught just this morning. Right on the coals. Wow.
Well, <clears throat> appreciate you guys joining me for another video. I'll spare you the rest. I'm going to grab that fish off the grill, bring it in, uh, eat dinner with the wife and the family. Uh, the G-Man's probably got chicken nuggets or something like that, but we're gonna definitely going to enjoy these trout. So uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. It's a wrap.